So we're here at the footing stage at my sister's extension guys and they've had to have it piled um, because the ground wasn't so good. So what happens is they just drive these steel posts in, these hollow steel posts in at certain points and then they cage over it with with some steel steel bars. You see that, you see that post? Oh, you, can't actually. you can see that it, at the end there the post has been driven in. And there's one in there. There's one at the end. And once all that's concreted you see it just reinforces everything. So I'm just round here now just to estimate all the materials really. And we'll go from there. Because this concrete in the middle was so deep, I mean it must have been like six or seven foot deep. I couldn't really take it out, so what they decided to do was bridge it with a pile here and a pile there and bridge across that. So we've set up a little bit now, what I've had to do, the first thing you should do is strike a line through the side of your house, get that set up, so you're working with the gable plane of your house, you know, and then you can work off that. Now what we've had to do with this one is come in 100 mil because of this grid here. It was going to be way too much hassle to, to move that grid, it was, it was in so much concrete, so the building inspector said you could move it over a bit, that's why they had to uh, the pile, when they were piling, they bridged it across, so yeah, that was the only way to get around that because there was so much concrete underneath for some reason. I think they just dumped it there at the end of the site, I think. And then it's quite tight as well, so I'm going to have to put the first bed really tight and then work with that. So it's a good job we've got three coats to work with. Well, this mix is three to one while we're in the footings, you want a stronger mix. Three to one. Three to one to one cement. I was going to get a dumper level because I don't actually own one yet. So what I'm going to do to get the levels is I'm going to transfer the data, which just means transfer the, the levels with, with a spirit level. I'm using that as staff, just to transfer the levels. Oh Dad, it's up for a minute. Let it mix. Tell you what, KC, you're doing a good job of that labouring. I know I have. Not so bad on that barra. Easy labouring. Look at that, the brick. No, no taxi to the brick. Right, we're looking good up to now. We're okay. Uh, there's actually another two courses goes on this engineering brick here. So it's five altogether. And there's 
there's three coarse of commons inside. Then uh, it's technical S. Then it's got to be slab. You see, three coarse of commons. Just gets us up to there. Not much room for a bed, is there? Jeez. Yeah, three coarse of commons. Then the uh, slab sits on there. 150 bill slab. And then that brings up to DPC. That's why these have got two more cores before it's DPC. Got some corners up. What's the case of getting the line up and laying them? We've got our corners up now, we're just going to run them in. Here's the boss. <laughs> Come there, bro. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> ah, Bob the Builder. Get your trouble, lad. Come on, give me a lift. Lenny. Give me a lift, lad. That's it now, vents in place. So they've just, building controls told us to just put them in like that and leave it in the crushing room. Every cloud, every That's the brickwork sorted for the footings now. Next stage is to get some crushing run in there and then the concrete insulation, then concrete. There's the crushing run and that's some grit sand. KC, bow me on me! KC, bow me on me! Alright, crushing run, man. Easy. You come a bit too late, soon. Look at this! Oh, yes! You got a former Simpson on it? Yeah. Belting. Absolutely belting that. How solid that is, Lee. Breaking that, isn't it? Probably one hour Alright, well, yeah. Well, was just looking great. I've missed the, well you saw a bit of the crush and run going in, but I've missed the sand blinding and whackering. Lee's done that, why I've not been here. He's done a cracking job. Looking good. Very good. Here's the steel reinforcement mesh. Each sheet of that weighs 70 kilograms. These are the things that prop it up, I'm not sure what they're called. But you see they're just lifted off the floor 50 mil so that concrete can go underneath and over the top. Just cutting the visqueen now. That's going down first, then the insulation, which is there. Now that was completely square, that wasn't it, Lee? Bob on that, mate. Belting. Not one chamfered cut. Not bad for a big kid. <laughs> <laughs> See, there's a lot of work in these foundations, a lot of preparation goes into it to do it right anyway. Especially the piled foundation, this is like overkill really, but we have to do it because the building inspector saw. So. Once we've prepped all this with the mesh after this, the building inspector has to come again before we pour the concrete to check everything's okay. And then once that's passed, we'll pour the concrete.
looking super cool. Just one more sheet to put on there in the middle. Let me kneel it there. Okay, we're back. And Saturday morning now, and the concrete's gonna be poured this morning. Lee's, as you can see, has shuttered this OSB board, and he's just packed it with some insulation under the mill. That's good shuttering. The building inspector's already been, and she said everything's great, everything's fine, but we just need to get a pipe for some electrical cable. So Lee's off getting that pipe now. Just in case we're going over it a few times, you know. You've got a, with a seesaw action, you're taking off and you're scraping off, getting the level. And with the tamping, you're just evening everything out, you know. Looking fan dabby dozy. Don't think we could have got it better than that, Lee, to be fair. No. It's probably. KC could have got it better. <laughs> no, KC, KC could. KC sacked. <laughs> KC. <laughs> Oh, and if anybody's worrying about the doors with splatter on, they're coming out. I'll do another video later when I'm doing all the brickwork and stuff, but that's it for now. That's how you do a power play nation from footings to DPC level. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.